Hi, Micro Punter here, and today I'm gonna show you some mites. Mites, mites, these are tiny little animals. They have eight legs. They're somewhat related to the spiders, even though they're not spiders. And where did I find them? In this uh, jar of pond water. I had it's sitting around for around four months on my windowsill. I collected it back in August, uh, still when it was quite warm outside. And the algae in here, well, they started to die off a little bit. They kind of lost their color already, but the mites, they reproduced. So maybe there were a couple of mite eggs in the water sample. And when I recently checked it, there were a lot of mites and I'm gonna show them to you now. Well, actually it was uh, quite easy. All I did is uh, put the glass with water uh, directly under my stereo microscope and then I immediately saw the mites. Um, as a matter of fact, quite a lot of them and it, they look pretty big, but I have to tell you the magnification is quite large. This is a little bit of time lapse because they were moving so slowly and the strings that you see that these are the algae and one of the mites was actually uh, stuck on the surface of the water because of the uh, surface tension of the water. It couldn't get down. Um, you can see the ring lamp of my microscope there as well and it was struggling to swim away but it couldn't because it got stuck right on the surface um, of the water. It was quite fascinating to see, but you can see now that one might eight legs, very typical. Well, I want to have now a slightly closer look um, at the mites and therefore I'm going to put them under my uh, compound microscope. Well, of course, I'm going to take uh, a small sample of the algae out uh, and uh, hoping at the same time, of course, uh, that there are going to be some mites in there as well. Of course, I was lucky and in this small sample that you see here, I was able to find two mites, barely visible with the unaided eye, uh, but with a compact microscope uh, worked quite well. Cover glass goes on top of it. Everything goes directly under the microscope and it did not take me very long. I immediately saw something moving around and here it is our little friend and uh, it was trying to cling on to one of those algae fibers and you can very nicely see that on one side it has four legs eight legs very typical for the so-called um, yeah for the sp uh, spiders and also for mites so currently there are approximately 50,000 known species of mites um, and uh, there are around five over 500 families they're grouped into over 500 hundred families and they're they're quite diverse. Um, most spiders are actually predators, but mites are different in the sense that some of them are predators, others are parasites, others still uh, simply feed on decaying food. So the diversity is much uh, wider in, in this respect. Um, spiders are mostly are predators um, in contrast. And because uh, they have uh, so vastly different ways of, of living, for this reason, they're uh, also quite diverse in the, their appearance. Now, this is uh, in dark field and you can see that it also looks uh, quite nice it looks a little bit transparent uh, the the mite here it's again trying to cling on to one of those algae you notice already that the algae do not appear to be very green because of the age of the water sample I think many of the algae have already died off a little bit well the smallest mites are around 0.1 millimeters uh, across so they're just barely able to be seen with the unaided eye as a small dot and the large largest mites, well, they are basically the ticks and they can be a few millimeters across and can be seen quite uh, quite easily. Well, the thing is, is that some of the mites actually feed on fung fungi and other uh, feed on decaying uh, matter and so on. And uh, also there are, as I mentioned already, many parasites. Now they molt and this means is that they shed their exoskeleton and this could be now such an empty exoskeleton or it could be a dead mite. I don't quite know about that. In any case, you can see that the exoskeleton, that is the hard outside covering of arthropods. So insects also have uh, such an exoskeleton. If you look carefully, there are two ciliates there, probably feeding uh, on the exoskeleton or, what is there, or whatever is left over here. Well, the mites, they themselves, they of course also uh, hatch out of eggs uh, and they have larvae as well. Um, and the larva stage only has uh, six legs. So you kind of got to be a little bit careful when you um, look at them that you do not confuse those uh, mite larvae with insects because insects of course also have uh, have six legs and yeah and those little ciliates here they, they move around there and they're looking for food well and here that's a close-up again also a little bit in time lapse 
um, and you can also very nicely see how it is uh, trying to move or it's actually moving its mouth parts um, along and it's uh, clinging on to those uh, algae fibers as well yeah quite uh, quite interesting to see uh, these uh, things so highly active yeah look at this uh, fiber here not the fiber but the algae here uh, the green algae it was cut open therefore some of the cell contents actually spilled out this here these are now uh, cell, uh, these are diatoms growing on um, an algae and on the bottom you can see of course uh, the mite as it's trying to move along again a little bit here well um, it is interesting also how they move around uh, they move uh, quite slowly as a matter of fact but if they have to cover larger distances what they generally do is, is they either cling on to other animals um, insects larger insects or also mammals um, some of the mites also are able to make a thread uh, just like a spider is and uh, then the wind is able to carry them along um, so uh, you see the uh, they are kind of relying a little bit on on other uh, methods of mobility as well and uh, they don't have to move as fast and always uh, you, when it moves this quickly you know that it must be of course time lapse it looks a little bit uh, more interesting um, to speed up everything a little bit more well that is uh, quite a uh, quite a thing uh, might uh, basically um, also um, have uh, are known to cause some allergies now here that's again uh, an empty exoskeleton especially the so-called the house uh, dow uh, house dust mites they are known to cause quite a bit of allergies but those water mites well they don't Okay, well, I want to invite you over now to my other YouTube channel where I'm talking more about the microscope uh, technology. So it's also quite interesting if you want to buy a microscope. So I'm going to give a lot of advice there. I also have another channel where uh, it's called Microscopic Mysteries where you can guess um, the specimens that I'm looking at. And finally, I also have a shop, an Amazon affiliate shop. I've got the link below. So in case you're interested in buying microscopes or accessories, I'm quite sure that you'll find many interesting things there as well and finally yeah do like and subscribe to this channel if you liked it in any case i wish you all the best happy micro hunting as always and yes see you around next time bye bye